Got a bit of a hoedown now, I would think, for Tanith Belbin and Benjamin Augusto. Fifth after their compulsory dance. Remember their Olympic silver medalists and bronze medalists in the World Championships for the last two years. Cotton Eye Joe, the first part. If you've just come in, you're watching the, uh, the original dance of the Ice Dancing, and we can have props this year. Let's see what happens with the hat then. That will be the prop. but very open makes it easier to do the steps at speed. Great move into the lift. super the lovely switch with a hat at the end through the lift really really enjoyed it and uh, they weren't just playing to the judges were they they were playing to the crowd as well and that's the important thing for them i think to really go out there and enjoy their skating and then perhaps they can close the gap remember they're over five points behind Delabelle and Schoenfelder and uh, what are they from a bronze medal just uh, just over three points or nearly three points away from third place at the moment great idea good luck with the hat uh, but for me I have doubts about it because it seemed very open in the way they were skating the transitions so there wasn't a huge amount of difficulty there on the straight line step sequence they went into it very fast so they stayed on one foot but because they were going so fast I didn't know if there was there wasn't that much content in the first half of it so I wonder against other skaters who are doing more edges more depth they're doing it slower how that compares technically I would think it would get a lower overall mark we'd have to see the level on that straight line step sequence you see this is it's open if you'd see on, even on the replay here it's quite easy the steps that he's doing this was one of the lifts that not so easy on the spread that's a difficult position but even against the French for me I wouldn't have that ahead of the French well, these two finished ahead of the French in the Grand Prix finals hmm. I mean on, on the rankings I, and on, I would expect the marks to be coming out above them but on what I've just seen if I didn't know that they were right up there I'd have the French above them because the French it was 
unbelievable, really. The, the whole content. And this had, for me, some gaps in it. It's it's presented very strongly. Good on the circular step sequence to play with the prop. But it was just the openness of it, which, to me, always... I know it's, it's easier to skate. Easier to skate open. But whether the technical content was bedded into, you know, the key areas, we'll see. Okay, 67.54, their personal best, 63.64, the season's best, and uh, we're looking down, the marks are good, very good, 64.69 that will be, and uh, add that with the score from the compulsions, 99.71, they've got a season's best here. A nod of approval there from Tanith. So indeed, Belvin and Agasco go shooting into the lead.